Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today I'm going to go over updating the Alice pack as far as the closures and the snaps and the cinching and stuff like that. Uh, I want to upgrade the snap style, which I have on this pocket, to the swift clip style that I have on this pocket. So. These three pockets can be done with these uh, ITS surface mount kits. These are these cost about a dollar, and they surface mount like onto fabric. You don't have to have any webbing or anything there. They surface mount um, right here, and then uh, then you have the repair buckle styles, which are like this. Which um, these are going to go on the cinching straps. So that you can uh, open and close this top way easier. It's just the best way to do it. And then also I wanted to add uh, these style in. <coughs> and all this stuff can be found on millspecmonkey.com. But um, yeah, so just look at their uh, DIY section or whatever. But uh, this is kind of the same thing as the uh, the split bar style, it's just a different way of doing it. So, anyway, I'm going to break this down and, and kind of show you how to install this stuff. So, in so the pocket inside that is meant to be the radio pouch or whatever, um, I have updated that to Swift Clip as well. Makes it a whole lot easier to get in and out of. Uh, previously, they had this thing right here which is just like this spring-loaded metal thing. And it, it's uh, locked on here, and it slides back and forth. It, this is a piece of, piece of crap. Um, what I've switched to on this is these right here. These are repair buckles. They are a pain to get on there, but once you get on there, they're not coming off. This is one of those split-type repair buckles. And you're good there. Now, um, after you put this on, you, you leave a little bit right here, and you can cinch this down. It cinches the pack down, and you can loosen it or tighten it. But then when you need to get into the pack quickly to access something, you can do that. Now, this is something else that I've got. Um, this is um, one inch of Velcro that you can get on Millspec Monkey. And pretty much what this does is it's got a soft side, a hook side and a loop side, and then it just sticks to itself. So what I do is if I have, I have this, uh, this piece right here, I'll roll it up. I'll cut this just to a, a few inches. I'll kind of measure before I cut it. And then you just wrap around and you see what it does is it uh, it secures the the loose end so it's not flapping around and that's what I prefer so this is what it's gonna look like and you're gonna have uh, webbing going through there um, on the on this side that goes to the top of the pack you can just unweave it through there you may have to cut the end off of but then on these you will take a a pair of dike pliers something like these and you'll come up to here and you'll go in here and you'll snap that kind of get that kind of bend this down and slide it out so there's that and now like i said on this style you just take your little loop and you throw it through there and then there you go that's your your buckle from the top tighten it down and there you go let me get in your pack just undo it put it back now, as you can uh, tell, that was that was easy, but because it's a little bit more complex, 
this style right here I just put on that is uh, about a dollar for the male end here let me show you so for this sit setup right here where you have a male repair and a female repair this is a dollar on mil spec monkey um, so you can get like 10 for 10 bucks um, I forget the exact price but it's about a dollar and then this right here with the male end is about 50 cents so you have a dollar versus 50 cents I think you should get both I ordered uh, just a few of these and I wish I would have ordered 10 of them because these are so much easier to use but now um, if you uh, want to use the other style which is a whole lot more difficult and I doubt I'll be able to do it on screen um, pretty much you take this and you weave one side in like that and then you have to get like a screwdriver or something and push this webbing up into this crack just like this and I'll go ahead and do it on screen um, just so you can see but it is not very easy but I mean for something you're going to do once and then you're you're never going to mess with it again you know so what if it takes you five minutes um, it'll be like that for the rest of your life because I doubt you're going to have any problem with these okay that was actually not too bad but I've got that that buckle on there that ain't that ain't coming off you're not like twisting that and getting it off at all especially with this old Alice webbing it's super stiff and I don't know that if that's because of the age or if that's just how they made it bam there you go now I'm gonna move on to this style right here now this is a ITW surface mount buckle now how it'll come it'll come in three pieces you'll have your uh, outside surface mount right here you'll have your underside that go that mounts up with the surface mount and then you'll have your male uh, buckle that goes with it. all this comes in pairs so this is a three-piece pairs you know what I mean a set okay so the mill end obviously threads onto this uh, loop that's coming down that's that's pretty self-explanatory um, but uh, what you're gonna have to do on this is it has uh, and you can kind of see it has four little pegs and then you have four reset spots in here now this you cannot undo this so when you do this you better be ready to do it but when you push these together like this you push them together and you squeeze down like this these are together forever so uh, you have to cut four holes in your pack and what I use to do that is I have one of these uh, silver sharpies which you can use a black sharpie this it'll show up but silver sharpie works with black stuff too but essentially uh, on these on these you're gonna take your inside piece and make sure you have it where you want it and and the orientation and you're gonna put it on the inside and then you're gonna press you're gonna press up see if you can see that fairly well but you'll see the four corners you come and pretend this is a sharpie you'll come with a sharpie and you'll mark these corners how you want them and then that'll be where your holes go now I recommend you find uh, like a little flat head like this uh, that's about the same size as your, your holes need to be I say holes they're more like little slits almost they're more uh, longer and um, you take this and then you can take a lighter or use your stove or use a torch or whatever but I use this to heat up the end now um, this is for making the holes you're gonna melt through because if you just cut them with a knife that'll probably work however um, it could rip through the fabric so kind of like how when you uh when you cut the webbing ends 
uh, to this stuff, you want to burn them with a lighter to make sure they don't fray and come undone. I'm doing the same with this. And do what you want, but this is what I'm doing. So heat this up with a little torch is what I'm doing. And then I, I, use, I see my marks, and then I just uh, burn through in the four corners of where I want to. And then it's pretty self-explanatory. You get the inside piece and put it in here get the outside piece and then you squeeze down inside and out thanks for watching guys if you have any other tips or tricks kind of similar to this put them down in the comments because i'm i'm putting this together because i didn't see much online on um, upgrading these alice packs like this so if you have any tips any tricks any anything you want to do like that um, share it in the comments so we can learn from you appreciate it